Hi again, this is Patrick Ballet for Webcam Studio and I'm gonna show you today the latest and greatest of Webcam Studio, just a little bit of what's going on and what will happen in Webcam Studio 0 0.57 when it's gonna come in. So first we have a look at Webcam Studio, the new interface. Um, the uh, I got rid of the preview I had uh, in previous version and currently looking uh, with uh, Matt about is it a good idea or not but um, I feel like it he feels like it so we're gonna see what what will happen with that I'm gonna make sure that my audio won't switch while I'm gonna be recording there just this okay so you can see here I have my layouts as before and when I click on each layout I have the source showing up here and if I simply resize a little bit so I can see a, a little bit better if I click on the source then I have all the controls as I had uh, before so I won't go over uh, layouts and how to play with them you already know about that uh, one thing I did also is integrated the preview here at the bottom instead of having it in the pop-up so if I click here it disappears and if I click again it shows up it's up to you to uh, if you want to see what's happening or not this layout is currently active so you're seeing uh, the blinking webcam studio animation and if I put my mouse over the layout then you're seeing a kind of a brief description of the content of that uh, of that layout if I move my mouse above the uh, the other layout then you have a small d description of the content of that layout of each source and uh, the configuration or in that uh, in that layout also so that's the new interface um, another thing I did is I integrated um, a new video source that you will sh find in uh, the menu sources at the bottom called QR code and yes it does generate a QR code as we see on uh, magazines and uh, on products so let me show you I'm gonna activate it if I do activate it then the code will show up and uh, I won't be able to show it to you because currently I'm recording the desktop but if I pick my iPhone and go to the scan uh, I have an application to scan QR codes and I scan oops where is the code there and you heard it my iPhone picked it up and uh, I won't tell you what's in that code so I'll let you scan it just for fun and you will see so this is a new uh, a new source that will be available so you're gonna be able to embed QR codes in your broadcast so if you want to uh, uh, display more information uh, you want to show uh, uh, give the URL to a website you can embed it with the uh, with a QR code like that so people will just have to scan the recording and uh, it's gonna bring them to wherever you want them to go and just to show you how it works oh no if I do that you will see the text oh no okay I'm okay I have same thing position as before to play with your source I won't click here because if I click here you're gonna see what's inside the code but this is where you input the text or whatever you want to, sh to be displayed in that uh, little code here and effects and shapes as usual so uh, this is webcam studio for the new layout the new interface the QR code and I'm gonna show you, show you another thing also I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna go here in my NetBeans environment and I'm gonna activate the X mode the X mode is what will be uh, if you're running on Windows or Mac or whatever anything beside Linux actually X mode will start and I've started working on this uh, a while ago and I have eventually succeeded so now you have webcam studio it's almost exactly the same thing but this is webcam studio x and not webcam studio for Geno linux as we we usually saw before 
Uh, currently it's running in French because I forgot to put it in my configuration, but you'll get the idea. So let's show the preview. So basically this is the same thing as before. The difference is uh, since I'm trying to make it run on several um, systems, device detection has been removed. There is no virtual output device uh, for the loopback. But if you go in the output here, you're going to see that currently the stream port is 4888. 4888. Darn, I got it. So what you do is you open a terminal or whatever a script or another software. I'm going to do, do it quite, quite simple for this demonstration. I'm going to put an animation in there. So I, there's a layout. I'm going to activate it. So you're going to see here in the preview that the big flames are currently uh, running. And I'm going to go here in my console and I'm going to call FF play from FFmpeg TCP 127.0.0.1 on port 4888. And if I do that, you hear the you <laughs> now you hear the uh, the echo of the stream actually because that stream contains audio and video from webcam studio so if you figured it figured it out you can use ffmpeg to connect to that port and stream to whatever you want or to a local file oh something's happening anyway I'll have to figure it out. I think my laptop is having some uh, technical difficulties. So if you stop it, oh, see, it kind of jammed. I, always when I'm doing a screencast, always. I'm gonna start it again. You can see some output here. You see that it's a little bit lagging, but something is happening in my laptop, so it shouldn't slow down like that. But you get the idea that you have a system that is now able to broadcast directly without a webcam device or virtual device, whatever. Uh, that stream is available in AUG format and you can output that to a Shoutcast server, an Icecast server, or using FFmpeg, you could broadcast to Justin TV, BAMB user, and so on. Just imagination, you do whatever you want. And uh, this is working currently under Windows XP. And as a proof, I'm gonna show it to you. So I'm gonna stop uh, this. I'm gonna stop the local webcam studio. And I'm gonna open my VNC, uh, where is it? There. So just a second. Okay, there we have it. I have a Windows XP machine running in the background and you see that I was doing some tests so here Java dash jar webcam studio I think that version is a little older than what I'm currently having oh sorry for the big noise the Windows is open anyway so uh, that version is a little bit older than what I have currently on my laptop but it works the same so I started It's gonna be a little slow since I'm uh, through uh, VNC, so don't worry. It's not supposed to be lagging like that, but. Okay, so you see I, ha I still have the old layout on this one. Okay, let's add, um, I will have to resize it. Okay, there. So let's put the big flames. Let's start that layout. So if I show the preview there, you're currently seeing if VNC could be fast enough that big flames are running and the output is the same port 4888. Since it's a network port, I'm gonna do the same locally using ffplay, ffplay, tcp, that IP address is 192.168.1.200.4888. This is the remote machine. 
I start FF play, you see something happening in the background, and what do you see? I'm currently capturing the broadcast from Webcam Studio X on a Windows XP machine. So more tests needs to be done. Um, I think it should work under uh, under OS X also because I've seen that libraries for GStreamer are available. But we're gonna do some more tests just to make sure and give uh, the proper uh, installation uh, procedure to uh, to be able to do that. But uh, currently, you you're seeing Webcam Studio running under Windows and that version could work with Justin TV, Bambuser and so on. Any anything support supporting RTMP RMTP. Oh, I never remember which one it is. Anyway, that broadcast that flash media encoder stream that they do use so you don't have to use the um, the flash player recorder on your on your machine. So basically that's what I wanted to show you today. Hope you enjoyed l looking at that little demonstration and I'm gonna go back to my debugging session and uh, my real life also because there's something else to do than working on webcam studio also. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that, bye!